Welcome to It's Your Case, brought to you by VetCT.com. I'm Heather, your radiologist on demand for today. Today's example is a five-year-old lab with vomiting, and reportedly, this patient hasn't eaten for days. Once you have reviewed the radiographs, then you're ready to watch this video. Now, let's start by acknowledging. It's clear that there are substantial contents in this patient's stomach. So our job then becomes to determine what the cause of this is. In a patient that hasn't eaten for days, we do not expect to see granular gastric ingesta. Because the stomach is large with granular contents, there's three sort of categories of possibility that we need to consider. The first is that this is a normal postprandial appearance of a dog that ate a large meal. This is probably not the case, provided that the history that was given to us is accurate. So let's leave that aside for now. The second possibility is that there's delayed gastric emptying of the ingesta. Delayed gastric emptying can happen for functional and mechanical reasons. And lastly, maybe this isn't normal ingesta, but in fact is foreign material. Some foreign material can have this type of opacity. So what do, else can we do to determine whether this is a surgical case or simply a case of a patient with delayed gastric emptying for a medical reason. The next thing that I think it's important to consider is whether there's any abnormal findings in the intestine. Small intestinal foreign material sometimes can be difficult to differentiate from colon. For me, this is the case with this patient. I'm going to point to a loop of small intestine here. That sorry, a loop of intestine here, I'll start by saying, that contains lots of granular contents. If this segment contained feces, this could be a normal diameter and normal contents. However, if this was a small intestinal segment, I would consider it to be excessively large and abnormal. There are lots of normal looking small intestinal segments. For example, these gas filled segments noted on both sides. So we have some small intestine containing granular contents, we're not totally sure just yet whether those contents are in small or large intestine. Of course, I like to use all the views, so here we're on the left lateral. The left lateral view is preferred in vomiting patients, especially if you're not trying to rule out gastric dilation volvulus, because on the left lateral view, the pylorus typically will contain gas. In this dog, the pylorus is here. You can see that there's a soft tissue or fluid opacity and some gas opacity in the pylorus. From here, it's quite difficult to trace the duodenum in this patient. Often on this view, we can trace the duodenum. However, there's superimposition of some structure, which is colon. I have a similar struggle that I can trace some of this as colon, but there's quite a bit more intestine containing granular ingesta than I would suspect for simply colon. My overall impression is that the intestine that I do see is not overly enlarged, therefore, I would conclude that the gastric contents are abnormal, clinical correlation is required to determine if this is more likely to represent foreign material, or delayed gastric emptying of normal ingesta. Remember, if delayed gastric emptying of normal ingesta, that does not rule out foreign material, because of course foreign material, for example, in the duodenum, could contribute to delayed gastric emptying. The next steps in this case are going to really depend on patient status. If the patient is unwell, it could be indicated to repeat radiographs right away, potentially with a pneumocolonogram, in order to really determine how much of this um, granular contents is in the small intestine. If the patient is safe, stable, or amenable to attempting medical management, then a next step could include repeating radiographs following fasting and medical management. Lastly, especially if the history is accurate, the dog has been vomiting and hasn't eaten for days, exploratory laparotomy or gastroscopy could also be considered as a diagnostic and treatment option. Be sure to review the full report associated with this case. Thanks for listening, and remember, it's your case, so please post your questions on social media.